Today was one of two meetings for the new tax rate and city council says they're doing what they can to keep the number down, but with the growth they've seen here in Port St. Lucie, they need to keep up with infrastructure needs. This bill is asinine. Standing room only at Port St. Lucie City Hall. There is no industry in Port St. Lucie to justify this amount of taxes. As residents made desperate pleas to commissioners. Keep it at a flexible rate. Don't raise our taxes every two years. My goal is not to see my taxes nine grand. To stop a tax increase in the city of Port St. Lucie. I love my home and I work hard for it. But I won't be able to deliver in it if they keep raising it. They just raised the, um, the tax last year and right back again the, this year. City Council placed a preliminary vote in favor to reduce taxes through lowering the millage rate. But taxes would increase by over $127 per year for an average single family home with a homestead exemption because the assessed values of properties have increased in the city by nearly 23%. Have you thought about a plan B if you can no longer afford your home? I don't, I'm not going to sell my home. I'm, I'm going to fight. I'm going to do all I can think of to make it. The city of Port St. Lucie now has over 230,000 residents, making it the sixth largest city in Florida and continuing to grow. For your taxes, you're getting a, a safe city with the police department, parks and recreation, public works. Um, you know, the, the list goes on and on. The next and possibly final budget meeting takes place September 25th. We are the fourth lowest um, taxing agency out of 20 other large cities in the state of Florida. So you're really getting a great value for your tax dollars. If you'd like to see how your tax dollars are working for you, the city has a new tool on its website to break down the numbers. Reporting outside of Port St. Lucie City Hall, Joel Lopez, WPTV, News Channel 5.